Got yeah, one. I know. It's like cringe. Not even chew. I'd rather kill myself than listen to that. It was amazing, though. It was genius. 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 The chemistry. Everybody has their moment on the X Factor. You just had yours. <laughs> Very interesting the fact you've got Robbie and Louis are both being in group. Here's my own opinion. It all looks a little bit too staged at the moment. The black, the white. Yeah, it does. It does. It's shit. It works when it's messy, when there's chemistry, when it's fun. Oh, shut up. Um, this is my opinion, but I think it's the first live performance. Good, but there's a lot more to go. Next yeah. time. Listen, I um. I think you're really, really likeable, boys. You are really, really nice, boys. It just felt a little bit too staged in general. In the first half of the just felt cheesy. I knew that you felt like you had to cross each other over at that moment. It just, honestly, don't worry about that. And just go in the moment. And, and, and just 10% more chemistry from you. Because as you have those... 10% more. 10% more. It's lovely, but I just want to see a little bit more of you loving each other. You know what I mean? Ooh. Drawing on his own experience <laughs> from one direction, I imagine. <laughs> the worst thing in a group is when one person thinks that they're better than everybody else. Ada did a funny. Ada shading Robbie, which definitely wasn't planned. Robbie looks jaundiced. In the early days of Take That, when we had been together for a month or six weeks, however long it is that you've been, you're together. Well, they were put you together. You are leaps and bounds beyond us, and also you leaps and bounds beyond One Direction at this point. Fucking hell! Hey, hey, listen, listen, girls, girls, get on board. These boys are going places. Go with them. I reckon they'll be first now. Yeah. Shit. Sold, like, millions Dog and shit. Millions of How about? No, but they have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How they have is another question. Yeah. But they have. <laughs> I think sometimes there's no rhyme or reason to it, is there? No. Just the idiot general public. Mm. Oh God! Who's this? Who's this? Well, John Lennon. Oh no! I hate the like fucking the worst song of all time. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the most over the, the old, ultimate hypocrite song. Most overrated song of all time. Yeah. I just find it ironic that he sings about that just like beating the shit out of his first wife. Yeah, he's a So fuck him. Yeah. Well, he did get a shot. Oh well. Don't say, oh well, that's all he gets a, It was a shot. fucking prick. Things he said about disabled people and gay people. Don't deserve to be shot, right? No, yeah. Was he shot or was he stabbed? Shot. Nice, incredible. Yeah, I'm okay with Robbie falling in love with you because I'm in love with you. I have a spirit crush on you. You are such a phenomenal talent. If a spirit I crush? Spirit, super she, she, she talks crush. fucking nonsense. <laughs> I don't understand what she's saying. It doesn't matter what she's saying. Something ain't right with Simon's hair. Yeah, he ain't combed it. No, that ain't. Nah. What? what you just Where are you going? Going? Old back's going. That. To be fair, we didn't actually listen yeah, to Yeah, I mean, it might have been. It was... I do just like that song. You chose the song, you interpreted it beautifully. What you said meant so much, how you performed it when I was talking earlier on about when you don't need to do too much, when you've got a spotlight and a song and a vocal like that. I thought that was un 
unbelievably good. Thank you, judges. Thank you. Simon, you need to be away more often. That's fantastic. <laughs> Um, that was sensational. How do you feel? I feel extremely blessed. Like, I feel like... Hashtag blessed. Quacky. Hopefully there's an advert now, so I can go and relax. Ah. I'm pausing this. Is that what you call it? Yeah, have a little nap and then finish it. <laughs> Where's the last mile, the hardest mile? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. This is like endurance, isn't it? It is. Mm. I know! Well, that is in the final. <laughs> <laughs> Hit himself over the edge. I just love that you take those risks. It's amazing. You're just giving us all the. Oh, nice seat. <laughs> oh. God. He's got no socks on. How did this guy get through? He can't sing. Maybe he's like the comedy act. Why are that fucked up couple always up and dancing? You know you are. Yeah, because they're so self aggrandizing. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Tara. incredible is that song didn't exist mm. 10 days ago. And you just wandered into the studio. Fucking wish it still did. <laughs> just write a hit and then sing it on the television to 8 million people. That is. He's no Reggie and Bolly. Uh, you remember them? Oh. They were good. Was that? Would I lie to you, baby? No, that's Charles and Eddie. That's it. One of them died, didn't they? Yeah, yeah but that's not who I'm talking uh, about. Reggie and Bolly were like, like that song. on a couple of years ago, and they were like, they were really fun, and they were like, mm. that sort of genre of it. They were really fun, they were really sweet. I couldn't see one person. That is a good song. Uh -huh. I thought it was a little bit of a song. I said I one. I do like this song. Everyone does. Mm. Uh, Genius. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter how old you are, I can fucking lie about it anyway. <laughs> I didn't. It was terrible. Mm. What? <laughs> she talks <laughs> fucking nonsense. <laughs> May maybe we need to put the subtitles on her when she's. Get <laughs> on. Sinewy. Yeah, I hate sinewy. Like Madonna. Yeah. Gross, isn't it? Like a whippet. <laughs> No, it's always better when people do their own stuff rather than fucking karaoke and some other shit. Oh, yeah, those sinew sinewy arms. Gross, on huh? Old oak tree. Veiny. Oh. Gaz was saying he likes veins in people's okay. legs and arms, and that. It's disgusting. Yeah, not for me. Horrible. I mean, Gaz just have like the total opposite taste in men. What are you laughing about that? Don't know. It's not like we're competing for the same guys. Uh, <laughs> I remember she auditioned before as well. Scarlet Moffat. Mm. Don't call her fat. <laughs> I didn't say. <laughs> It was a joke. Oh, you get over your, Get over yourself. It was a joke. So how did she do last time? I remember her having a good voice. Another fucking jewelry song. Can't do with this shit. Do 
what she's wearing as well. Why do they make it so old fashioned? It is like X Factor 2007. Yeah. Like, she's obviously a young girl. Why don't they make her sing something young? I know. Maybe she doesn't have the right look for it, I don't know. Like, she's got a good voice, but it's just so old fashioned. Yeah. I hate that song as well, also. What is it? You oh, make you make me feel, me feel like, like a natural, natural woman. woman. I hate any songs about I'm a woman, I'm every woman, all this bullshit. It's all in me. Patronising, isn't it? It's bad. Mm. I like the name Scarlet. Uh, what? You don't like it? No. I do. She's cute. Congratulations, baby. You baby. Yeah, she actually seems nice. Yeah. That outfit is hideous. She looks like she got a toga on. Uh, she, at, least she oh. made, at least she made Ada feel like a natural woman. You know she ain't. <laughs> I was setting you up for that, but it took you a second. Yeah. <laughs> off the chain, off the hook, Maxwell. <laughs> Of, uh, obviously performance. Oh, have you? I think you're a very, very light. That cheap ass biro is think you'd have a nice tail on the He looks like he's going cold turkey. I wouldn't even use those biros at work. Shit, isn't it? You should be proud of yourself tonight, darling. Well done. Uh, patronising. They don't saying? call darling. They don't call men darling and sweetheart and love and babe. Babe. Fuck them. Yeah, it's cringe. I don't, yeah, I don't think I've ever called them babe or darling. Apart from me. Yeah. Or love. But you said you don't mind love. It depends on who from and in what context. And you are a yeah, it's like if someone says cheers, love, it's not so bad. But if someone says, mm. oh, well done, love, mm. that is passionate. In a shop or something, I don't mind it. I guess up north, everyone calls everyone love, don't they? Yeah, sometimes it's quite endearing. But sometimes people say it very patronisingly. Someone looks different in a photo of this. Uh huh. Choir? Oh, fucking hell. I'm surprised Simon has wheeled out his son. <laughs> Eric. Who looks like a 40-year-old in a child's body. I don't have a go at Oh, child. he does, though. Come on. Also, why would you call your kid Eric? Eric. He's just... Eric? This guy's fucked in the head. <laughs> that is mean. Big Brother on Blast does not... TV on Blast does not endorse body-shaming children. Oh, God. LMA like choir. You've always got a choir. What does the LMA stand for? What the fuck? On my jacket. What is going on? Ain't this more like Britain's Got Talent than a Lion King? Come on, who's gonna... <laughs> Fucking hell. Ending on a bum note. Oh my god. Why? This is awful. Man. How did I get through? Are they singing Lion King? Can you feel the love tonight? Look how many of them there is in the band. They ain't going to make much of the royalties. <laughs> this was a great song choice. It was a great performance. We've never had a choir on this show before. Good. I've waited for a moment like this. And you've never had your moment quite on the show yet. This, to me, was your best performance. We've they look like they're all in The Walking Dead. Yeah, Why are they all wearing they sepia? The garbage yeah. people. Brilliant performance to start off your live shows. It was absolutely brilliant. Genius. I'm not normally a massive fan of choirs. I that you in the first audition. But there's something about your energy. It's absolutely infectious. It's amazing. I'm like Motley Crue, isn't it? Revenge of the Nerds, isn't it? <laughs> In choir form. How many of them there are? I didn't love the stage and you separated a little bit, but actually, it didn't matter. It was a great performance. It's me. No! I have to give my husband, Robbie Williams, some credit here because it was a huge risk to put you through and the risk paid off. That was incredible. Your harmonies were amazing. 
I'm still trying to think of something LMA could stand for and I'm really struggling. 